Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to see if overclocking a low-end graphics card is worth it. Now, my R7 370 is counted as a low-end card because it's meant for eSports and really nothing else at 900p, which is what I'm at right now. Which it does all that very, very well. But today, we're going to try to push some extra power out of it using MSI Afterburner. The base clock for this card is 995 MHz on the core and 1400 MHz on the memory. The overclock is going to bring the core clock to 1100 MHz and the memory up to 1500 MHz. Not too much, but it should give at least a little bit of performance, right? Well, let's see with some benchmarks. All the tests are done at 1600 by 900, and the benchmark results were recorded with fraps. The system specs should be on screen right now. Starting off, it did a firm mark test with both the overclock and the non-overclock, and this is what I got. For the non-overclock, we got a max of 43 FPS, an average of 40, and a minimum of 37. With the overclock, surprisingly, it got a max of 45, an average of 35, and a minimum of 24. Next up is trusty old World of Tanks at maximum settings, settings with all the sliders and max, and TSAA high quality. For the non-overclock, we got 117 FPS max, a 85 average, and 35 FPS minimum. And with the overclock, it's 120 max, an average of 95, and a minimum of 20 or 34. Overwatch was ran at the high preset at 900p. The max was 172, the average 111, and the minimum of 50 on the non-overclock. And on the overclock, you got 173 on the max, only 107 on average, and a 47 on minimum. Finally, Doom. I ran this at high settings with no AA, and I will be showing results for both OpenGL and Vulcan. For the OpenGL minimum and max, it's max 37, for non-overclock it's 67, uh, average of 40, and a minimum of 22. For the overclock, it's a max of 67, an average of 39, and a minimum of 9. For the Vulcan, I got 111 on the non-overclock max, an average of 45, and a minimum of 22. And on the overclock, it was 112 max. A average of 47 and a minimum 25. Now after looking at this, it seems that overclocking actually gave worse performance in all games with World of Tanks and Doom with Vulcan. Kinda strange, right? I had to guess completely differently. Well that concludes this benchmark and over well, overclock test. Oops, someone kind of enjoyed it. Don't know really how. Uh, not too long, just enough. And maybe you'll learn something from it. That overclocking crap cards gives crap performance. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.